Where we're sitting right now is about there. This is that big dump at Houston Oil and Mineral, the uh, tailings pond. Mm -hmm. We drove in on a road that came about to here. The highway to Silver City goes about through here, and then this is Silver City down here. Our drilling mm -hmm. has mainly been concentrated from this area here down as far as this area right here. So this is about 1% of our entire land package right in that area there. This is a zoomed in view using a um, uh, generalization of George Eliopoulos' map. Um, we have three major rock units here. We have the Alta Anisite, which is a light green rock unit. We often get veins in it. It's not the best vein host, but it does have veining and mineralization in it. We have, uh, oops, sorry, San, the Alta Anisite's here. Santiago Canyon's here. On the computer, they were two different colors. Somehow they're not mm -hmm. here. <laughs> And then we have uh, this blue unit is a meta igneous rock. So our goal is, is to put a drill hole in from the Alta Ana site. We want to drill through the Santiago Canyon Tough and end, end, end our hole in the meta, meta igneous rock. Almost always the meta igneous rock does not run great. So we can know when we hit the meta igneous rock that we've gone through our target. So it's a really good indicator for where our mineralization is going to be always above that level. We've gone through and created uh, some cross sections. We actually have a lot of cross sections, but I won't bore everybody to death with them. So I'm just going to go over one in mine. And uh, this shows our zone of mineralization here. Um, this was come up with another one by another one of our geologists. And uh, what it's showing is areas that we will find gold mineralization. Not necessarily ore <coughs> grades, but where our mineralization will be. So you can see there's a general 45 degree trend down to the right, which would be down to the southeast, or sorry, northeast. Um, there's a, we have drill holes here, through here. This is a planned drill hole that's going to be drilled pretty soon. And we have old workings in purple. So there's an old stope or, or uh, underground working here, here, here. So you can see they're also falling in general 45 degree. One of the issues that we've had in the past here is the, a lot of geologists look solely for the Silver City Fault, which is the general trend of this. And so a lot of our drilling was solely to target that Silver City Fault. So they were just drilling for that. And what we have is we have at least two other mineralizing structures. We have northeast mm -hmm. structures, and we also have east-west structures, which occur seldomly. But the majority of it is northeast and northwest structures. So we changed our direction of drilling to take into that into account. And now we drill east-west holes, except for where we know those east-west structures are. And then we drill north-south holes. So this is, um, you can see there's uh, a lot of different offsets along this. These are different faults that have all um, uh, chopped this up. So instead of one easy picture to understand, which would be really nice, it's been just chopped up. So that's what we're working on is building an understanding of how exactly it's been chopped up. So that way we know if we're going to drill a drill hole from here down, where we're going to hit mineralization, where we're going to hit our rock units. Okay, I'm going to go 